Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, uh, I guess you're right. Just getting this off you, boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, boy. You Easy, me. big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days.
They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. Ah! He woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking for. Easy. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Yeah. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice.
How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Okay, boy. Let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, I'll say. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Let's loop around the other side. Okay, then. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber var. That rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. Okay, and obliterated boy. them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up.
Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this plate. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going.
Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, Morning. I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks. Dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There she Get here, watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. 
I know, but we need to do this right. What do you have here? Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. God damn it! I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably <clears throat> owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. Remind me to never bring you to a bar again. Is that meant to be funny? Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Yeah, real funny. How are you, Jose? Doing all right, Mary Beth? I guess so. Glad you boys made it back from that raid in one piece. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll all be getting out of here soon. Good morning, Arthur. Did you go How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, I'd then. leave him to it if I was you. That stubborn man. And I'd say he's rested enough. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. I used to really look up to you, Hosea. I'm about the only one oh, around here who stands Lord, up for you. Please, end it. <laughs> speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the, uh... Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? 
That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan. You didn't tell me what the O'Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted. Granted. I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends. If I can. You don't know the half. I do know Colm killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Uh... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourselves. See, 
This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Arthur, look out. Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. It's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Yeah! Oh! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Come on. to work. Don't you damn move. Hey, the next two. What's the plan? Hurry up, just you kill me. Where you want a new hole? I guess they know we're here. Come on then!
Cone's still here. Hey, he said Cone's being captured. I'll check. You look out here. You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
good boy. Mister? No need for fancy talk. Eh? Raise your hands. Now! Okay. This is it. Oh! Oh! It's all right, boy. Idiot. Yeah.
Aha. Uh, trail's been here a while. Let's go, boy. Boy, hold on. Thank you. 
Stay calm. Stay calm. It's okay. Nice and easy. <laughs> Easy now. Okay, now. Settle down. Whoa. Whoa. Easy there. Go easy. Easy. Whoa. Easy now. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Just getting this off you, boy.
Hey, mister. Real fine a horse. Thank you. Anyway, how's it going with you? Okay, well, all the best now. Well, if that's what you want to go with. <laughs> Okay. Look at what we snagged! Dutchy right, stars! I told you he'd go! Where you been? 
You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah. We need you, John. All right. Yeah. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Gentlemen, mind if I warm myself a minute? I'm getting too old for this. Living in tents, on the run. By my age, I thought I'd be living on some farm somewhere, having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another and massage on my feet. Funny how things turn out. Said I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. Still, guess all that luxury run me to fat, and there ain't no getting fat out here. Now my old hag Greenshaw eats triple rations. Enjoy yourselves. I gotta get on. Is there some intent to this loitering? Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's he been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Come on, girl. So up now. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. 
we finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off of it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of you. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. Just one or two, right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> you have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Where are you? Nobody. 
I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Stop slumping off on me! Lenny? <laughs> Maybe you should switch to water, my friend. Lenny! How many have you had, pal? There you are, Lenny! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Cheers. Not you again. again. Where's that horse got to? 